WRTV celebrates diversity every day, and this month is Hispanic Heritage Month. So we're taking a closer look at the Mexican consulate in Indiana and the unique way the new head of the consulate is making a difference for the Hispanic community. At the corner of Lord and Southeast Street, the Mexican flag waves high above the consulate. Step inside and you'll meet the new head of the consulate, Maki Terremoto. Spanish comes easy to her. And so does the spirit of her country. What we call mi casa es su casa, that's true. Mexico City was home. Yes. I was born there, I was raised there. Uh, the only time I've left Mexico is when serving to the, to the government. Mackey joined the Ministry of Foreign Affairs in 1992. She moved stateside to work at the Mexican Embassy in Washington and later at the Mexican Consulate in New York City. I speak Japanese, but of course I'm, I'm fluent in Spanish and I'm, I'm doing my best in English. Yes. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. A Hoosier since July 16th, she brings humor and humility as a trailblazer in her position. The main difference I, I'm, I, I feel I'm making is that I'm the first uh, female officer from the government of Mexico as head of the consulate. Her roots remain grounded. We have the angel of independence. As she embraces making a change. Women can do anything. The office of the Indiana consulate is just 20 years old. Mackey covers Indiana, Kentucky, and part of Ohio. We are only five uh, members of the Mexican Foreign Service, but we cover 241 counties in the tri-state area. It's a role she bases on community connection. On Mexican Independence Day, you can catch her putting a face to the community and dancing with Hispanic Hoosiers, but her work goes beyond the dance floor. Back at the consulate, she turns her power into a mission of responsibility. Part of our community are um, undocumented. That makes them vulnerable. Part of the day is for documentation, another part is for protection, and then cultural events, and then meeting with uh, authorities and elected officials or law enforcement office officers. So, yeah, we have a lot of work. So, you're not busy at all? No. <laughs> <laughs> now, on this Hispanic Heritage Month, she shares a message of open doors with Hoosiers as the first female head of the Mexican consulate in Indiana. In any doubt, please contact the Consulate of Mexico. We are the ones who can provide you with the proper and the direct information that you need. According to Foreign Service Law, Mackey says the head of the consulate usually serves four to five years. Now her plan is to visit Kentucky next.